Hello children. Today we begin with the new chapter Pythagoras theorem. Now here let's recall what is Pythagoras theorem. In a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. So if we have a right angle triangle PQR, angle PQR is 90 degrees. PR square is equal to PQ square plus QR square. Okay. So this is Pythagoras theorem. Then the next topic that we have is Pythagorean triplet. What it means is in a triplet of natural numbers, if the square of the largest number is equal to some of the squares of the remaining two numbers, then the triplet is called Pythagorean triplet. For example, if you have three numbers, 11, 60, 61, we find the squares of all these three numbers, 11 square, 121, 60 square is 3600, 61 square is 3721. You take the squares of the two smaller numbers out of the three. So that's 11 square plus 60 square, 121 plus 3600. You get your answer, which is equal to 61 square. In case it comes equal, then the numbers form a Pythagorean triplet. In case it does not come equal, then they do not form a Pythagorean triplet. Okay. Next, uh, we go to figure 2.2. Now, this is a concept which we have done in standard 9 and it is just a revision. If you have triangle LMN where angle L is 30, angle N is 60 and angle M is 90 degrees, we know that the side opposite to 30 degrees is half of the hypotenuse the side opposite to 60 degrees is root 3 by 2 times the hypotenuse. Okay. Then there's another property 45, 45, 90 degrees. What it means is if you have a right angle triangle and the other two acute angles are 45 and 45 degrees each, then each of those perpendicular sides is 1 by root 2 times the hypotenuse. That is, in triangle XYZ, I have angle X 90 degrees, both angle Y and Z are 45 degrees each. Then, XY equal to XZ is equal to 1 by root 2 times the hypotenuse, which is YZ. So, XY equal to XZ equal to 1 by root 2 times YZ. Okay. So, that's another property. Again, this we have done it last year. It's just a revision. The next topic that we learn about here is similarity and right angle triangle. Now, this is an important concept based on which there are other theorems which we are going to learn. Okay. So, the uh, first part of it in a right angle triangle, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and to each other. What it means is, if I have a right angle triangle that is ABC and I draw an altitude from the vertex B to the hypotenuse AC, that is from the vertex B, I draw an altitude BD to the hypotenuse AC. Then how many triangles can you see in that figure? There are actually three triangles. There's an original triangle ABC and there are two more triangles formed ADB and BDC. Now, what this theorem says is triangle ADB will be similar to the original triangle ABC. Triangle BDC is similar to the original triangle ABC and ADB and BDC will also be similar to each other. Okay. So in a right angle triangle, if the altitude is drawn to the hypotenuse, then the two triangles formed are similar to the original triangle and also to each other. So given in triangle ABC, angle ABC equal to 90 degrees. Segment BD is perpendicular to AC, A dash D dash C. To prove triangle ADB is similar to triangle ABC. Second, triangle BDC is similar to triangle ABC. And third, these two triangles are similar to each other. Triangle ADB and triangle BDC are similar. These are the three things to be proved. Now, proof, we first consider triangle ADB and the original triangle ABC. 
are these two triangles similar by some test? Now, if you look at both these triangles carefully, you have angle A, which is common for both. That is, angle DAB is congruent to angle BAC. So that's a common angle. Similarly, both triangles have got a right angle, angle ABC and angle ADB. Therefore, the two triangles are similar by AA test. Okay, so the first part of your theorem is proved. Same way, consider the next two set of triangles, BDC and ABC. Same reasons, you hear the common angle is angle C, angle BCD and angle ACB. Okay, that's a common angle. Again, 90 degree angles, angle BDC and angle ABC are 90 degrees each. Therefore, the triangles are similar by AA test. Okay, and since we have proved the first two set of triangles similar by transitivity, it follows that triangle ADB is similar to triangle BDC. Okay, so that's how we prove this theorem. Children, this theorem is important in the sense uh, this is used to prove many other theorems like Pythagoras theorem and converse and other theorems like this. Okay, so understanding this is very, very important. Next, we go to the next uh, part of the same theorem. That's theorem of geometric mean. It's actually a corollary. That is, it can be obtained from the theorem that we just learned. What it means is in a right angle triangle, the perpendicular segment to the hypotenuse from the opposite vertex is a geometric mean of the segments into which the hypotenuse is divided. What it means is if I have a right angle triangle PQR and I have drawn a altitude, a perpendicular QS to the hypotenuse, I need to prove QS square is equal to PS into SR where QS is the geometric mean of PS and SR. How do we prove this? We take right angle triangle PQR. QS we know is perpendicular to PR. Now from this similarity of right angle triangles, we know triangle QSR is similar to triangle PSQ. We have proved it by theorem of transitivity in the previous theorem. Therefore, we'll write the sides in proportion QS by PS equal to SR by SQ. Now when I cross multiply it, SQ can also be written as QS. QS into QS, QS square is equal to PS into SR. And QS is called as the geometric mean of PS and SR. Now uh, more than proving this, you will have a lot of application based questions in the exercise based on theorem of geometric mean. Next we come to the very important part of the lesson that is Pythagoras theorem. The question that can be asked from here is state and prove Pythagoras theorem. It can be asked for four marks or you could be given the statement and you may be asked to prove it. Okay. Now what it says is in a right angle triangle, the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the remaining two sides. We know the theorem to prove it given in triangle ABC, angle ABC equal to 90 degrees to prove AC square equal to AB square plus BC square. Construction, draw segment BD on side AC. That is, and you have A dash, D dash, C. All three points lie on the same straight line. Proof, in right angle triangle ABC, segment BD is perpendicular to hypotenuse AC. Now, we have already learned from similarity of right angle triangles the triangle ABC is similar to triangle ADB, similar to triangle BDC. Now this you don't have to prove it. You can just say they are similar and reason you can say similarity of right angle triangles. Now let's take the first two triangles ABC similar to ADB triangle. Okay, write down the sides in proportion. AB upon AD equal to BC upon DB equal to AC upon AB. These are the corresponding sides. Now let's take AB upon AD equal to AC upon AB. Cross multiply it, AB square is equal to AD into AC. Same way for the next set of triangles, that is ABC and BDC, which are similar, write down the sides in proportion. Take the two sets of ratios, which when you cross multiply, you get BC square equal to AC into BC. 
so we will consider those two, those two ratios wherein the numerator of one ratio and the denominator of the other ratio are the same see in the second set bc of the numerator and bc in the denominator were the same so i considered those two so bc square equal to ac into dc in the first set ab was common and so we took first and the third ratio okay now when i if i mark it as one equations one and two you add equations one and two what do i get ab square plus bc square is equal to ad into ac plus dc into ac you find ac is common in both the terms take ac common outside what is inside the bracket is ad plus dc what is ad plus dc ac ac into ac is ac square and therefore i get the pythagoras theorem ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so this is how we have to prove it children learning this theorem along with the proof is very important you need to understand it very well and practice it so that when it comes for your exam you are able to solve it well okay so that's about pythagoras theorem we go to the converse of pythagoras theorem which says in a triangle if the square of one side is equal to sum of the squares of the remaining two sides then the triangle is a right angle triangle so here you are given ac square equal to ab square plus bc square you are already given what must you prove that angle abc equal to 90 degrees so for construction we draw triangle pqr such that ab equal to pq bc equal to qr and angle pqr is 90 degrees okay that's the construction now for proof in triangle pqr since you are given angle q is 90 we can use pythagoras theorem and say pr square equal to pq square plus qr square now in, in uh, instead of pq we will substitute it as ab because it is equal so instead of pq square i can write it as ab square and instead of qr square i'll write it as bc square but we are given ab square plus bc square is equal to ac square so what do i get from there pr square is equal to ac square or i get pr is equal to ac now if i look at uh, the, the triangles abc and pqr i was uh, we had uh, constructed uh, the construction was such that ab equal to pq bc equal to qr and just now we have uh, uh, derived pr is equal to ac so you have two triangles which have got all three sides similar and therefore the two triangles are congruent by sss test okay the two triangles have got exactly all three sides equal to each other and therefore they are congruent by sss test now if you have two triangles congruent then you know that the angles are also congruent to each other the corresponding angles should be congruent so if angle q is 90 it follows that angle b is also 90 degrees so thus we prove the converse of pythagoras theorem okay now then the next set where you have remember this is actually a summary a summarization of whatever we have done that is uh, similarity of right angle triangles theorem of geometric mean pythagoras theorem converse 30 60 90 degree triangle okay so that's it so we have finished uh, with few theorems before we start with the exercise all right so a quick revision of what we have learned before we start with the exercise you are going to go through these few things pythagoras theorem pythagorean triplet 30 60 90 45 45 90 degree triangle then you have similarity and right angle triangle theorem of geometric mean then the theorem pythagoras theorem and its proof and the converse okay so in the next session that we have we will start with exercise 2.1 so in the meantime revise all these theorems and get ready for solving the exercise thank you children